I use this when I have a lots of visit for all kids <laughs> <laughs> in my buildings. My name is uh, Knut Knut Steru. I live in here at Vinaki with my wife Nora. Um, I'm uh, president of uh, Friends of Adam Museum. I also be president of the Norwegian Con uh, Association for all the museum in Norway. History is just a little hobby for me. Uh -huh. Very interesting. <laughs> I work with, uh, I, earlier I was a little bit uh, farmer, not now. I work with urban and environment planning around in Norway. I travel a lot. My English isn't so good. You understand? Very good. Yeah. Better than our Norwegian. Way better than our Norwegian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I like you. coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I will <coughs> speak a little bit about uh, the area here, Grinaki landscape and uh, Stave Church, Grinaki Stave Church. This is a very value landscape. It's a national landscape from. Uh, Brandu to Ole to Granavon, where you live at Samle. I think it's almost the same landscape uh, when you have it for 2000 years ago. So you can't do as you want here. You can say it's a little bit restrict. I think it's good. Maybe it's too much. <coughs> We have very uh, good soil here because uh, we have to go back to 600 million years. Uh, it was sea ground here, and we have a lots of fossil kalk. It's an, I think it's uh, some of the best uh, soil in Norway, and also in Ringrike and some other parts of Norway. Therefore, people move in this landscape very early. 4,000 years ago, maybe more, 5,000. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure. Here in, uh, at Grinaker, they are living for 2 to 3,000 years. <coughs> they have found some uh, market in the ground from uh, Christ. Uh, about Christ born, but close here. Um, <coughs> you can uh, look at this uh, after. Th this is a great fossil, Trilobit. This is some expert here. <laughs> That's more common. The expert in Norway believe that this has been a very important place here before uh, Chris, Christmas time. Um, that was uh, the ordinary situation in any place, and they built the church up in uh, a holy place. Holy place. Yeah, holy place. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> but they built this up, uh, this cave church. And I put the uh, tree painting in, in uh, mm -hmm. you can see it, in 1100, last part of 1100. It was a very small uh, building, I think uh, five, twice, six meter, oh. about oh. 30 quadrat meter. And then build it out in the Middle Age, and especially at the 1500 and 1600. Because it was uh, lots of people. It was a very, very value church. This church was laying under the parish, Gramavol, it's a sister church. But uh, later it was also um, a little uh, giving church. Um, it's a gift, gift church? Gift, gift, gift church, yeah. yeah. And the church was very rich. Some of the most powerful people, maybe special women, give a lot of money and silver and 
painting to the church. One example. It was... Uh, <laughs> I have to <laughs> tell about your great, great oh. grandfather, yeah. Hans Grinaker. Yes. He was a very powerful um, um, person who uh, stay here. He get uh, I have so a lots of uh, letter from uh, last part of 1700 and the first part of 1800. And it was a woman in Reykjavik. Have you heard about Reykjavik? Yes. To give <coughs> she give wine to Hans Pedersen Grinaki one times 134 liter. <laughs> <laughs> she give it and. You have to take care of it. I hope it's, it tastes well. To we use it in the church. <coughs> yeah. Um, I suppose this is one of the stale shirts. You have almost very much of the uh, things inside. Pulpit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two of them. One from the Middle Age, very nice, in Hore, in Ringerike, south. And a newer one from uh, 1700, that part. <coughs> Tingsta new shirt. We will see Tingsta later today. <coughs> I speak a little. <coughs> I travel <coughs> from west part of uh, Norway uh, the last night, oh, uh, no. so I'm a little bit uh, yeah. under the ground here. It's uh, thousands of people. It was three place, three uh, church in the ground uh, where they uh, have graves from the whole community. So sister church at Granavall here and uh, Ness in Reykjavik. From 1100 and until uh, 1870. Har du ennå her da? Var litt lenger. Litt lenger enn den greia. Ja, absolutt. Ja. And they took down this day church in 1866. It was terrible. But uh, they took down thousand, almost thousand in Norway. It was a little bit early. Have you wait have they wait 30 years? People in Norway had be more <laughs> smart. <laughs> it was a lo lot of people. Um, maybe uh, <coughs> there came uh, some rules. At the last part of 1800, so the uh, parish here, the church, had to take care of the people. And Newt, you know, yeah? at that time, the best people all went to the U.S. That was the reason. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think all this right. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people, and maybe the best people got to U.S.A. <laughs> But it was too small, <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> Under this ground, they have a um, very simple archaeological uh, uh, test here in 1961. I think it will be very exciting to make a more uh, uh, examination here later. <coughs> it's a lot of things in the uh, soil, silver, gold. Mm -hmm. Like ring. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> so it was the, some of the best uh, uh, people in Norway with this metal detector mm -hmm. have been here. Oh, you can see their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's, you can't break it. It's holy ground. Right. Mm -hmm. I have metal detector. Mm -hmm. I've never used it here. But you can hear the noise. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Inside in my farm, it also a lot of. Just some example. Small button with the weapon and uh, lots of small. Uh, 
Doe het ook. Bap, bap. Ja, dat is een beetje. Dat is een beetje. Ik weet niet. Misschien de neighbor hier. Zo is het zo exciting. I take care of the old thing and I have a, my own small museum at the timber building here. I think it's very, in, very important to take care of the history.